welcome back again with our channel. Hope you are always healthy. Getting dressed can be one of the biggest obstacles in your day if you are paralyzed, but unfortunately, it's one that must be done. Softer pants, such as dress slacks or sweatpants, will be much easier to maneuver than jeans or other tight options. There are many companies that actually manufacture clothing with wheelchair users in mind, so taking a look at the options available from these businesses should be your first step. Once you've found appropriate clothing, it's time to start the actual process of putting your pants on. Many suggest getting dressed while on your bed or another flat surface where you can more easily lie down. Getting weight off of your hips and legs is essential in making the process as manageable as possible. If you are having trouble determining the best way to go about getting your pants on, you are likely looking for a few quick tips to guide you through the process. Luckily, you've come to the right place. Keep reading for a quick guide on how to get your pants on when you are paralyzed. The first thing you should do is choose pants in a material that will be relatively easy to deal with. You will find that there are people with spinal cord injuries that are doing amazing things and living full lives. The motivation and inspiration you get from talking to other people in your situation may be enough to give you a morale boost whenever you feel like giving up on making progress. You do not have to figure this out entirely on your own. You can still do these things, but you will have to do them differently than you did before your injury. With the help of an occupational therapist, you can learn to safely do these tasks and others on your own. The support of other people with spinal cord injuries can also help you regain your independence. For example, the job of an occupational therapist is to help you learn how to do the activities associated with everyday living as a paraplegic. Tasks such as going to the restroom, getting in and out of bed, and even cooking will present you all new challenges. Reaching out for support may seem like the opposite of independence, but it's not. You can gain independence more quickly by learning from others with knowledge about how to deal with your situation. There may be some things that you have to learn by trial and error, but it is likely others have already figured out an efficient way to do whatever it is you are trying to learn. Okay, for the current video, we've finished that. If you want to know more about their full story, please subscribe and like this channel. If you have suggestions and anything you want to